Good evening, Yarnies, Dirty Hookers, and Fiber Fiends. How is everybody? Yes, I'm back. I had to take a little break. I wasn't feeling well, but I'm a whole lot better now. Um, sorry if everybody was um, expecting me to be around. And I and I got a bunch of people wishing me well, so I appreciate that. Hey there, Upcycly. How are you? Alrighty. So we've missed a few uh, streams this week for our woodland theme. We're going to play catch up. So there was no Throwback Thursday <clears throat> stream this week, which is fine. Um, doing good. Oh, well, thank you. I'm glad to be back. So there was no Throwback Thursday stream this week, and we're not going to make that up. We'll pick it up next week when we do Thursday. Um, we're probably going to have the special guest next Thursday. I know I've been saying that, and I've had to postpone or I cancel streams, etc. Um, tonight, we're going to do the woodland theme that we were going to supposed to do Monday, to mon Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. We're going to start with Sundays, work our way through, and we're going to see how far we get. If we don't get all three of those days, there's a total of six little motifs. A lot of them are real little and quick. Um, if we don't get them all done tonight, then tomorrow when I stream, we'll do a little bit of those before we do our Project Linus blanket. So let's get into it. Get right ahead. You know, I don't really waste time. Let me just check this. The first one we're going to do tonight is the leaf edge. It's not stitch. I need to change that. And it's not a stitch. This is a square. If I can spell. There. Leaf edge square. So it's a, a granny square, a type of granny square. Or if um, Llama was in here, I think she was the one, or they were the one, that think that a granny square has to be a traditional granny square. Everything else are just squares. So this is a square, a basic square. It's the stitch makeup for the base part, the white part here, is a form of filet crochet. And then once you do all of that, hey there Sophie, how are you? Once we get the base done, then we're going to do with our green, our leaf color, and we're going to stitch into those holes that were formed from the from the fillet crochet. And real brief, fillet crochet is basically this isn't exactly fillet, but it's kind of a fillet stitch where you do usually a double, a double crochet, chain one or two, skip one or two spaces, then do another double. And it's how you put those double crochets and those skip spaces together will form the fillet pattern. So it's similar to that. Hey there, Llama. Yeah, I really like this one. Now this one, when we get to the leaf, the leaf round, the green round, it's going to take a little skill. Not skill, patience, I should say. It's a variation of a puff stitch. So if you have issues with puffs, this might not be the one that you start with. Also, when, oh, I'm feeling a lot better, Llama. Thank you for asking. Also, when we get to the green round, instead of my regular crochet hook, I'm gonna use a Tunisian hook, mainly because when we do this leaf here, we're gonna have multiple loops you're going to have a bunch of loops here, 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 and here. Five groups, and then you're going to pull through all of them. Thank you for the lark. I appreciate it. So that's the reason I'm going to use a Tunisian hook for this. It's going to be a regular crochet stitches. It's just going to be using a Tunisian hook because you're going to have all of those loops on your hook. If I ch try to use this hook, it's got this rubber grip. That's going to get in the way. Now, if you've got a regular crochet hook that doesn't have a rubber grip, you should be okay. But since mine has this comfort handle, I'm going to have you in the background crocheting a pumpkin and watching Game of Thrones. 
funny that you mentioned. Oh, actually, yeah, you did say that you were making pumpkins. I've made some pumpkins, and they're coming up the end of this month. I've been pumpkin crazy. Been a busy and tiring week at work, so I've so I've barely started the other sock. That's okay. It'll be there when, when you're ready for it. So we're going to get started right onto this um, square. This is a pattern from the YouTube channel called Create by K, the letter K. I, I don't know sign language. I used to know sign You knew the letters in sign language. You dyed your hair today? Yay! I need to cut my hair. That was supposed to be, plant, be um, done this week, but that didn't happen. So, <clears throat> we are going to get started again. This is a, I got the pattern from Create by K on YouTube. If you want the, the, the link to that video, just type in, what was the command? Exclamation point leaf edge. And that will be the link to where I got this from. Um, I also, I use worsted weight yarn here, size four, and I need to get in the habit of measuring, giving everybody an idea. And this is about six inches square, roughly, and I'm using a five and a half millimeter hook. Your results might vary depending on what yarn you use and what hook and your tension. You all know the, the, the drill. All right, I need to turn my volume, my music down a little bit for me. If the music is too loud for everybody, let me know. And I think I've got everything running the way it should. It's been a while, been a week since I've streamed, so I'm trying to remember if I got all my T's crossed and I's dotted and all that good stuff. So you dyed your hair. What color did you dye it? All righty. Prepping to play some Minecraft? Yay! I've, I've played Minecraft before. So, to begin with, the um, instructions say chain four and form a loop with a slip stitch into the first chain. You can do that. I'm going to do a magic circle. I don't remember what I did here. I might have done the magic circle. I'm going to do a magic circle. And into the magic circle, first what we're going to end up doing, before we do this, when we do this, we're going to chain up three, that counts as a double, and into our magic circle we're going to put in four more doubles. So we'll have a total of five. So there's two, three, four, and five. If you're doing the chain four, slip stitch into the first chain to form a ring, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to chain up four, uh, three and then do four doubles into your ring. I'm on a project of growing out my black dye, and now I dyed my pretty long roots purple. Looking pretty dang good. Oh, nice. I've only ever dyed my hair twice when I had hair. The first time I did it, I was in high school. And I wanted to go blonde, and this was two like about two or three weeks before the end of senior year, so my last year of high school. I wanted to do something crazy, which I never did anything crazy. And I have naturally dark brown hair, and I didn't know that I needed to have a toner put into my hair to prep it. So I put the blonde dye, and it fried my hair and turned it copper. Yeah, that was fun. That's probably why I don't have any hair. Now, I was starting to thin a little bit then, but I still had hair. My head has been a wide wide array of colors. Yeah, that was the first time. And then the second time I dyed it, I dyed it maybe one or two shades lighter. Couldn't even really tell. But since I'm balding, there's no point of dyeing it. What's... All right, so we've got our five double crochets, or if you want to look at it, four regular double crochets and a chain three to start. 
And I know my lighting. One of these days, we'll work on this lighting. So we got our five there. We're gonna chain two, and in the ring, do five more doubles. Two, three, four, and five. So what colors have you uh, dyed your hair there, Llama? Let me zoom on in. So I did our first five, chain two, five more. And then we're gonna chain two, and we're gonna do five more. So it's, it's like we're doing a regular granny square, but instead of groups of three double crochets for the sides, there's five on each side. It's, that's the only difference. Three, four, and five. And I'm gonna chain two one more time. I'm gonna pull the tail, just so I have room to work into. And in there we're gonna do five more doubles. And if I'm going too fast, let me know. Three, four, and five. So again, to recap, we've got our chain three, which counts as a double, four doubles into the ring. So that's a group of five. Chain two, five more doubles into the ring. Hey there, fairy dust. Five more doubles into the ring. Chain two, five more doubles into the ring. Chain two, five more doubles into the ring. And now we're gonna chain two. Yep, I'm back. I'm feeling a lot better. So again, we're doing a simple greeny square, but instead of groups of three doubles, they're just groups of five for each side. <laughs> that one scared me that time, not, to, not tonight, but, that, but Grammy had done it before and scared me. Thank you for the gong. Uh, black, purple, and white, black, blue, and white, red and black, just red, Black, white, again, my natural color as it's dirty brown. Bright, bright, bright blue, dark blue, bright purple, dark purple, black, and now I'm growing out the black to go back to purple. Yeah, you've done every color. You're sorry in advance now. You didn't scare me. Yeah, Llama, you have definitely have had every color under the sun. So there is our first round. I don't know why the butterfly isn't working. Why that um sound alert. Hmm. That's strange. I love my hair, my black and white hair, but man, it was a pain to maintain. Oh, I can imagine. Sorry, I'm advanced because I'm going to try them all. Oh, okay, that's fine. You can try them all. All right, not a problem. I don't know why that one's not working either. I might have to go in and usually I ch check them all before I stream, but I didn't tonight. So we've got our first round, and what I'm going to do is we've slip stitched to join. I'm going to tighten the ring. Again, you can tighten it at any time. A lot of people tighten it after the first round like this. Usually I do it after a few rounds, so I have something else to hold on to, but we're good. So there is our square, our first round. Oh, I didn't mention that this square is got six rounds, and that's including the green. Alrighty, so we slip stitch to join, and we're coming up out of a um, double crochet. So we're gonna chain three, and in the next stitch, we're going to do a double crochet. I love colored hair. I think that's a lot of work to keep up. 
Glad you're back. I'm feeling a bit nauseated. Started nicotine patches today, thinking that may be the reason, so I have been napping since I got home from work. Make certain you take care of yourself. Yeah, definitely uh, feel better there, Fairy Dust. And I understand if you need to lurk or if you need to go or whatever. So, uh, yeah, definitely uh, keep an eye on that. All right, so I chained up three. That counts as a double. And I'm going to do a double crochet into the next stitch. So remember, we had five stitches on this round. So we did doubles into the first two. We're going to chain one, skip one, and then the next two stitches are it's going to get a double crochet. That's what I meant by the fillet work, where you have double, series of doubles, chain one, skip one, series of doubles. Trying a different kind of hair dye that doesn't damage your hair and should, shouldn't fade as easily. Nice. So we've done all the stitches on one side. And in the corner, we're going to put two doubles, two chains, and two doubles. And that's the repeat for this round. So now the very first two stitches are each going to get a double. Chain one, skip one. And again, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this. That didn't really do much. Did a little bit. So we did a double into each of the first two. Chain one, skip one. And then the, the next two are each going to get a double. So everything is getting a double except that middle stitch of the row below. And that is just getting a chain one. So it forms like a rectangular opening. Now in the, la in the corner, two doubles, two chains, and two doubles. And that's the rest of this this round. So we did our corner. Now the next two doubles are each going to get a double. So they each get one. Chain one, skip one. And then the last two doubles each get a double. Hope this makes sense. And then the corner gets two doubles, two chains, two doubles. So there's the two doubles, there's the two chains, and my last set of two doubles for the corner, for this corner. And then here, the next two stitches, each are gonna get a double. There's one and two. Chain one, skip one, and then the next two each get a double. Double and a double. All we have left in this round is the corner because that chain three here was coming out of that very first double crochet from the row below. So all we have to do here is two doubles, two chains, two doubles. So there's one double, there's two doubles, there's our two chains, and then our two doubles. And we're gonna slip stitch to the top of our chain three If I can get into the chain and not around the chain. Come on. Also got big news of the next update in the game. I play a lot currently. Very excited. Wow. Well, that's that's great that you've got uh, an update. So that is round number two. What game is it? Not that I probably know anything about it. <laughs> So round three, before we get before we do round three, just keep in mind where we did our slip stitch join. 
is in the third double over. I think I mentioned... Oh, Genshin Impact. Yes, you mentioned that before. So keep in mind, our slip stitch is now joined at the third double over on the side. So when we start this up, we're going to start up in the middle of a side. So the first side won't be complete until we go around the last corner. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four. Yeah, there should be. Wait, why do I have eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, there is eight. Yeah, there's eight um, double crochets. And again, this light. In the center here, there is a chain one space. We're getting two new and very attractive characters, two new chapters to the main story, and a pretty big expansion on the map. Nice. I delivered the half double crochet ribbed hat. Didn't take a pic of it, but gave it to a truck driver at work that said he has never owned or worn a beanie. I don't know how one makes it into their 50s never having worn a beanie before, but he has one now. <laughs> well, that's cool. That was nice of you to, to do that. All righty. I got to look up my, my instructions. All right. So for... Let me double check this. So we come up there. We're going to chain four. Two, three, four. That counts as a double crochet and one chain. We're going to skip a stitch. And double crochet into the next, which is going to be into this space. So you can double crochet into the space. Chain one, skip a stitch, and then in the next, do a double crochet. Right? Yeah. Chain, I gotta, it's been a while since I made my sample. Chain four, skip one, double crochet in the next. Chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next. Chain one, skip one. And double crochet in the next two. What? Hmm. Let me look at my sample real quick. Should have four there. Three holes. One, two, three. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we're good. So, to recap, I chained up four. That counts as a double plus a chain one. Double crochet into the space. Chain one, skip one, double crochet in the stitch. Chain one. Wait a minute. Oh, I went into the wrong stitch. Don't mind me. Let me just a looky here. Okay, that goes into there. Oh. Again, it's been a while, and I haven't streamed in a while. Okay, strike all of that. We're going to redo round number three. We're going to... Excuses, excuses, excuses. Yeah, thank you, Grammy. So, we're back to where we joined. We're going to slip stitch into the next stitch. So we've moved over one stitch. That's what was throwing everything off. Now we're going to chain up four. One, two, three, four. It has been stricken and maybe smitten. Okay. So when we slip stitched over, we're coming up out of this stitch here, the one to the left, I mean to the right of the space. 
So we're coming up there, chain four counts as a double and one chain, uh, chain stitch. And then in the next double crochet, we're not going into the space, into the double crochet, do a double. So we're stacking a space on top of a space. Doesn't look like much now, but once it gets squared up. So we did that, chain one, skip one, and then the next two stitches are each gonna get a double crochet. One, and then two. The corner is two doubles. Chain two, and then in the corner, two more doubles. One, two. Smote didn't rhyme with stricken. Doesn't your sample have a little mistake? There's no, there's, where's the mistake? You're making me look. There might be a mistake, I don't know. Bottom leaf, middle part, here. Like you mean this? Oh. You're right. Wow. You're right. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. That, this little leaf part is supposed to go into that, that hole. Wow. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> well, hopefully I won't make the mistake when I do this one. Alrighty. So we've done our corner, which is two doubles, two chains, two doubles. Now, the next two stitches, is it two? Yeah. The next two stitches get each get a double. One and two. And we're going to chain one, skip one, and then the next double gets a double. chain one, skip this hole, and in the next double, so you're not going to go into there, you're going to go into, into the double, we'll get a double crochet. Not a mistake, just unique. Yeah, maybe that part of the leaf didn't grow as much. <laughs> Needed more sun. So we're stacking our holes on top of each other. And now we're going to chain one, skip one, the next two stitches each get a double. Yeah, we can see it a little bit better. So we did our, our corner. Remember our corner is two doubles, chain two, two doubles. The next two stitches get each get a double. So one, two, chain one, skip one. And the next stitch gets a double, chain one, skip that chain. And the next double gets a double, chain one, skip one. And then the last two doubles each get a double. Hopefully that makes sense. And then the corner gets two doubles. Two chains and then two doubles. Corners are pretty easy. Hole stacking should be an Olympic sport. Goes to the bad boy corner. Yep. That's you, fairy dust. So again, we did our corner. The next two stitches each get a double. So there's one, and there's two. We're now gonna chain one, skip one, and in the next stitch, gets a double. So that chain one, that chain we did there, is in line with the stitch that we're gonna skip. So when you do the chain one, skip one, you're gonna form a rectangle, which is a variation of filet crochet. Chain one, skip that chain, because there was a chain here, and in the next double, which is the very next stitch, gets a double. And that is going to make our holes line up. And then we're gonna chain one, skip one, and in the last two stitches, each are going to get a double crochet. And then the corner 
gets two doubles, chain two, and then two doubles into the same corner space. Our last side, well, not our last side, or our last full side, because we're going to have to finish off the first side, because where we start, where we came up was in the middle, not in the middle, but into, into the side. But we haven't got there yet. So the next two stitches are each going to get one single. One and two. Chain one, skip one. The next stitch gets a double. Chain one, skip the chain. And then the next double gets a double. Chain one, skip one. And then the last two, last two stitches on this side, each are gonna get a double crochet. And we're to our last corner. We're gonna put two doubles into the corner, two chains, and then two doubles. One and two. Alrighty. Now what we're gonna end up doing is the first two stitches here. There's a stitch here and there's a stitch there. Those two stitches are each gonna get a double crochet. So there's one and there's two. We're gonna chain one and we're gonna skip this stitch and we're going to slip stitch into the third chain of this chain. Remember, this was four chains because it counted as a double and a chain one. So we're gonna slip stitch into the third from the bottom. So there's one, two, three. We don't wanna go into the fourth, we wanna go into the third. And that will form round num number five of our square. Now, I don't know if you can tell, if you can kinda see that these openings, they're forming the negative space that you can see through and then these stitches create the positive space. Again, that's another, that's a characteristic of fillet crochet. So it's a, it's not exactly fillet, but it's, it's related. So that was round three. So round four, we got one more round of white before we do the leaf, before we get to the tricky one. So now we're gonna chain up four. One, two, three, four. That counts as a double crochet and a chain one. We're gonna skip this chain because there's a chain right here. Do you ever replace the chain three with a stacked single? I guess you could. I've never tried that. I mean, there's, as long as you're getting that first stitch of your round the same height as your other ones I don't see why you couldn't you couldn't do that and I don't think I've ever done a stack single I'd have to probably look at an example or really dissect it that's usually how I learn a pattern I have to look at every little bit of it so we've got our chain four which is a double crochet plus one chain we're gonna skip the chain in the middle here and go into the next stitch with a double. Chain one, skip the chain into the next stitch, do another double. Chain one, skip the next stitch, and we have two more stitches on this side, and they're each gonna get a double crochet. So we're doing the same thing, we're just making it bigger. There'll be, there'll be more, um, of these open spaces for each round you go. So in the first round, you've got one on each side, the next you got three on each side, and this one we're working on now, we're gonna eventually have five on each side. The corner is the same, two doubles, two chains, and two doubles. Here we go. So now this side, the first two stitches each get a double. One and two. 
chain one, skip one, the next stitch gets a double. Chain one, skip the chain, and then the, the double crochet from the row below gets a double. Chain one, skip the chain, the double crochet from the row below gets a double. Chain one, skip the chain, the double crochet from the row below gets a double. And then chain one, skip the next stitch, and in the last two stitches of that side, each get a double crochet. So let me show you what, th what that side looks like. So from this round, or second round, we have one open space in the middle of that side. The next one we have three, and then this last one we have one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So it's kind of forming like a triangle. And again, those open spaces there are what we're going to end up stitching our leaves into. They're going to be, basically they're a series, or it's a combination of extended puffs is what the leaves will, will be. But again, we're going to do that next round. Corner gets two doubles two chains, and two doubles. Okay, one more time. Next two stitches on this side, each get a double. So there's one, there's two. Chain one, skip one, the next stitch gets a double. Chain one, skip that chain, and then the double gets a double. Chain one, skip the chain, and the double gets a double. Chain one, skip the chain, and the double gets a double. Chain one, skip the next stitch, and in the last two stitches, they each get one double. Corner, two doubles, two chains, and two doubles. One and two. Our last full side to do. First two stitches each get a double. One and the second one. Chain one, skip one. Next stitch gets the double. Chain one, skip the chain, and in the double gets a double. Chain one, skip the chain, and the double gets a double. Chain one, skip the chain, and the double gets a double. Chain one, skip the next stitch, and in the last two stitches, each get a double. Now we come to the corner. Corner is the same. Two, two, and two. Now we have part of a side to do, and we do it the exact same way that we've been doing it. First two stitches each get doubles. Chain one, skip a stitch, double in the next. Chain one, and now we're going to slip stitch into the third chain of our four chain here. Because remember, that four chain, four chains counts as a double crochet plus one chain. So in the third, slip stitch and join. And that is round number four. We have two more rounds. Alrighty, so what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm just gonna finish off this round. I'm gonna cut my yarn, pull through and pull tight. And I am going to weave it in now. Because when we do the next round, we're going to start in the corner and not on the side. And I'm just going to weave it in as best I can. It doesn't have to be perfect. Mine doesn't have to be perfect because it's a sample. If you're going to be using this for a project or whatever, then yeah, be a little more mindful. Plus, I'm using cotton yarn, so it's going to 
it's more open it's not as dense and again I use that so you can see the stitches and I'm not gonna worry about weaving in my center you probably should but again as a sample I'm not worried about it that alone if you block it that alone it's a pretty square very geometric let's add some leaf color to this and for camera purposes or I guess you could use it we're gonna go lighter than this we're gonna go lime green we're gonna get bright and colorful I don't know if I've used this color on stream before All right, let me take a little drink. For my purposes, I'm switching over to Tunisian hook, again, because I'm gonna have lots of loops on my hook. And that's so to accommodate all the loops. Again, if you have a regular hook that doesn't have a rubber comfort grip and it's pretty much straight, you should be okay. Alrighty. In one corner, doesn't matter which corner, you're gonna start with a standing double crochet. For those of you who don't know how to do a standing double crochet, you're not gonna worry about your, your piece yet, you're gonna join it to. You're gonna take your yarn, your new color, put a slip stitch on your hook, and you're gonna yarn over like you're gonna do a double crochet. So you've got the slip knot and the yarn over. And I usually put my finger there to hold it so it doesn't come undone, so the yarn over stays there. I'm gonna go into where I'm gonna join. So I'm gonna join at a corner. And I got my yarn right here on, the, on top of my square. I'm gonna bring it through. And now I have three loops on the hook. Yarn over through two and then yarn over through the last two. And of course, I'm gonna to have to tighten this up, but that is a standing double crochet. You can do a standing single, standing double, standing half double, standing triple, etc. And that just sometimes will make a cleaner edge. And Fairy Dust, was that what you were referring to as a stack single? I think stack might be something different than a standing. I'm not certain. Okay. Join with a standing double crochet. Two double crochets in the corner. Skip a stitch. Let me just take a look real quick at my sample. Double check something. Do we have three in there? Yeah, okay. So there's our standings on uh, double. Into the corner, we're gonna put two more doubles. So we're gonna end up having three doubles into the corner on each side of the corner. So we have our standing and then two doubles. Stack single, you make a single. Inset hook into the left leg of the... Oh, okay, I know what you mean, okay. So yeah, that's something different. You make a single, insert, insert the hook into the leg, the left leg of the single, and make another single, yeah. Gotcha. I mean, yeah, that, that would work, because it, it would be this, if you do it to make it the same height as your other stitches. So I've got my three double crochets in the corner, and this is just one side of the corner. This isn't the full corner. And then double crochet. We're gonna skip a stitch. And in the next two, we'll get a double crochet. There's one. And two. 
So we had three in the corner, we skipped a stitch, and we did doubles in the next two, one in each, and in this very next stitch, we'll get two doubles in, this, in the one stitch. So there's one, and there is two. So let me recap. Three doubles into the corner, skip a stitch, the next two stitches each get a double, and in the third gets two doubles. This is where we're going to do the leaf. So this is the complicated part. So in the next space, which is this space here, we're going to start a three double crochet puff, but we're not going to finish it. Meaning, so we're going to wrap, go in, bring up a loop, wrap, go in, bring up a loop, wrap, go in, and bring up a loop. Okay, that's a three, um, double crochet puff. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing, but now we're going to do it in this space here. So we're doing these outside spaces. So we're going to do a three double crochet puff here, but it's going to be extended because we're going in a row, and we'll do the same thing when we go here. It's going to be even bigger. So keep in mind, one of them, you wrap it three times, but once you finish one, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the hook. So you're going to multiply that five times. So you're going to get a lot of loops on this hook. So I'm going to yarn over and go in, not into this one. You're going to go in this one here, bring up the loop, pull it up tall, yarn over, go in again, bring it through, pull it up tall. Yarn over and one more time, bring it up tall. So I've done it twice. I got three more times to do it. Yarn over, and we're not going into this one. We're not going to this one. We're going to go into the third one in. And this one's going to be brought up even taller. Yarn over, go in, bring it up, bring it up even taller. Yarn over, go in, bring it up, look tall. And then, how many did I do? I lost count. One. Did I do it three times? It looks like I did it three times. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, I did it three times. Yes, it is a yarn eater. And then, we're going to do the same thing, but now we're going back down the leaf. So, yarn over. We're not going into this one. We're going into one, in, one, for, one further in. Bring up a loop, yarn over, bring it, go in. And you want to be loose on your tension, because if not, this could, and I kind of did it here a little bit, it'll pull in. So you want to practice with it. So that was twice, yarn over, go into the hole again, bring up a loop. So now we've done it four times. We still have one more to do. And you want to try to get these somewhat even and flat. I kind of failed with that one. So then we do our last one. So one, oh wait. Wait, 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 I didn't yarn over. So we're going to yarn over, go into this, bring up a loop, yarn over, go in, bring up a loop, loop, yarn over, go in, and bring up the last loop. So now you've got, I don't know how many loops are here on this hook. Again, that's why I suggested to use a Tunisian hook, because here you can see that it's not going to, they're all not going to work. We're going to have an ad. I don't think I've ever had 946 loops on my hook. Well, yeah. This one I kind of messed up a bit. One more I'd add, I'm going to redo this so it's a little bit nicer. And then I will stop at this point and then I'll show you how to finish this and then to carry on. So I'll be back right after this ad break. You round it up. Okay. <laughs> so I'll be right back.
Welcome back, everybody. And yes, Fairy Dust, I did the math when we were at break, and you're correct. It should be 31 loops on your hook. Because each of these uh, three, um, three double crochet puffs that aren't finished yet have six loops, and then you started with one. Alrighty, so we have 31. Now, this is the tricky part is to yarn over and bring that yarn over through all 31 loops. Now, you can do it real slow and go through a little bit at a time. And even me, I have trouble with this. And if you're not, if you didn't have your loops loose enough, it could cause some problems. So I'm through most of it. You just gotta slowly go through. This is not a fast stitch. And I just lost it all. But I'm gonna try to save it because I don't wanna start all over. And trying to save this. There we go, okay. And I split my yarn when I did that, oh no. Okay, I'm gonna put the loops all back on to my hook. So you might have trouble with this one. This is definitely an advanced stitch. Okay, let's see if I can I can redo the last puff. I'm okay redoing the last puff. Maybe if I can. I got a knot? Alrighty. Okay. Gotta redo the last puff. Right. Gotta yarn over, go in, bring up the loop. Yarn over, go in, bring up the loop. Yarn over, go in, bring up the loop. And that's where I really split the yarn. Very slow. Maybe this will work. We might just see a disaster here. Okay, got through one puff. Go through the next. This is designed by someone with an Iron Maiden in their living room. Yes. This is tor And we we're only on one side. You still have three more of these to make. want to keep that loop on your hook because if not you're gonna have a total disaster even more of a disaster than this is okay when it's done right it looks gorgeous okay I got it I got it I got it okay so now we can kind of fluff it up a bit and I didn't want to be too tight to pull in now that we've we're now back over here what we do now is we're going to chain one, and there will be a hole there. So we chain one, that's gonna kind of draw it all together. And in the next stitch, right here, we're back over to the left side now. We're gonna do two doubles into that stitch. One and two, and that's where the yarn got all split. The next two stitches each get one. And I'm not used to crocheting with this Tunisian hook. I gotta, yeah, let me redo that stitch. Okay, two into that first stitch. The next two stitches each get one, and these are doubles. We're skipping the next stitch. And in the corner, we're getting three doubles. One, two, and three. 
chain three, one, two, three, and then in the corner gets three more doubles. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use my regular hook until we get to that leaf part, because I'm more comfortable using the regular hook. Okay, this corner is three doubles, three chains, three doubles. Skip the first stitch. The next two each get a double. So there's one, there's two. The next stitch gets two doubles in the same stitch. And now we're back to do another leaf. So you can kind of see how it's forming this. I might have pulled it a little too much. Also, when we add our last round around this, it's gonna help hide some of this, this large space that's there. Okay, again, we're gonna do three double crochet, a puff that's three double crochets, but we're not gonna finish it. So yarn over, go into the first, into this hole, bring up a loop, yarn over, go into the hole, bring up a loop, yarn over, go into the hole, bring up a loop. So now you have seven on the hook. And each time you do this, you're gonna add six. And now this time, we're not doing in this one, we're gonna go up a row. So yarn over, go in, bring up a loop, but make it taller. Yarn over, go in, bring up the loop. Yarn in, go in, bring up the loop. Now we do that, the same thing, but we're gonna go up one more row. Yarn over, go in, bring up the loop, make it really tall this time, and do that a total of three times for that one. You wanna keep it somewhat even height with everything. And now we're gonna go down to this one. That was the third, I think. Hopefully I got that counted right. Now we're gonna go into here. Oops. Okay, let's redo that one, okay. Yarn over, go in, bring up a loop. Yarn over, go in, bring up a loop. Yarn over, go in, bring up a loop. Now yarn over and go through everything on the hook. That is the part that's not fun. So I just do a little bit at a time. I gotta make certain I'm bringing the right loop through and don't get all twisted this is where you don't want really any tension on your working yarn in fact you might want to just completely take your tension off because you want that to slide through as easily as possible Another thing that might help with this is use a latch hook. And that's my, that, something I'm gonna try right now. This is an experiment. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get the hook in through all of these loops. No, I'm not, it's too tight. You could try it with a latch hook. You might still might not have enough length of hook to accommodate all of those loops. So close to the end here, come on. One more to loop, okay, there we do, there we go, there we got it, we got it. Chain one, whoops. Chain, <laughs> oh, I don't need the Tunisian hook anymore. I can switch back to my regular hook. Chain one. The next stitch gets two. Before I do any more, I'm gonna kinda flatten it out a bit and fluff it up. My loops could have been a little more even and consistent. And then the next two are each going to get a double crochet. Skip the next stitch. The corner gets three doubles, three chains, three doubles. So one, two, three. 
and then three chains, and then three doubles. One, two, and three. So that's what half of it looks like. So you can see it where, where we're getting with this. You gotta get past this next two sides. The very last round is super easy. You just gotta get there. Skip a stitch, the next two each get a double. There's one, there's two, the next stitch gets two doubles. One and two, and now we make that leaf. I'm gonna try it with a latch hook. Now, the only difference is your latch hook is not the same diameter, and isn't gonna be necessarily the same diameter as your Tunisian hook or your crochet hook, but with the latch hook, that little latch is gonna latch onto that last yarn over to help, help you pull it through. The same thing I used when I showed, this is back in the spring, how to do, do a bullion stitch. You don't see a lot of bullion stitches in patterns, but when you do, you can do them with a regular hook. They are a pain. The only way I could do is with a latch hook. So I'm gonna yarn over, go into the first one, bring up a loop. Um, yeah, bring up a loop. Oh, come on. Bring up the loop. Yarn over, go in, bring up the loop. And then yarn over go in and bring up the loop. I could have made this a little taller. So there's one. So I'm going to yarn over, go find the right spot, not this row, but one row further in. I'm going to grab that, make it a little taller, yarn over, go in, bring up the loop, yarn over, go in, and bring up the loop. I've only got two of them in, and I'm starting to run out of room. So the latch hook may or may not work with this. But I can kind of bunch them up. Yarn over, and we're going to go into the third one in. And I kind of snagged the yarn there. So bring up the loop. Yarn over, go into the same one. Bring up a loop. Yeah, this is starting to snag everything. So that was twice. Yarn over. And that's the third time, I think. Yeah, my loops might look a little messy with this one. Yarn over. I've never done a bullion stitch. I have also never done a 31 loop puff cluster Giganosaurus stitch. Well, after this, you might never want to do one of these. So there was one, yarn over, go in, bring it up. Yarn over, go in, and bring it up. That's the last of that one. Now my last one, yarn. Oh, I gotta yarn over first. Yarn over. So there, oh, it's getting snagged on this little latch piece. Okay. Maybe the latch is making it worse. So yarn over. Go in, bring up the loop. So there's one. Yarn over, go in, bring up a loop. There's two. Yarn over, go in, bring up a loop. There's three. So now I go, that's my 31 stitch loops. I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to close the latch. And that, so with a latch hook, if you have a latch hook, that latch will help prevent that loop from falling off the hook. So it might be a lot easier. You just gotta pull it a bit. Come on. Why isn't this coming through? Did I... I think I made a mess. I really think I just made a mess. <laughs> First day back in a week and I've totally, totally botched this I'm gonna have to redo this. The latch hook didn't, it wasn't the latch hook's fault. The fault was me, I didn't have my loops loose enough. Remember, I'm a tight hooker. 
So I'm going to start over, and I'm going to stick with the Tunisian hook. And I'll probably do that. Try to do this one real quick. One, two, and three. There. I need loose loops. And then one, two, three, and then one, two, three. And then the next one gets one, two, three, and then the last one, one, two, three, and now, to your credit, this isn't the easiest stitch for your long-awaited comeback share, yeah, I, I, I can't do a share impersonation, <laughs> but... I believe I can do this. <laughs> I know. Bad joke. I promise you, the rest of the stuff that I have in the leaf theme are a lot of, Why isn't that working? Oh, probably because that loop should not have been, should not have, yeah, I messed up a loop. Okay, I think we got it. And we're still on round five. <laughs> Thank gosh, God, gosh, whoever, that this is a six round square. That last one was kind of a little, uh, I didn't like that one. Alrighty. So the first one gets two. The next two each get one. We're skipping one, and then the corner gets three doubles. Chain three, and three doubles. This part you can go fast. Okay. Coming up to our last one. But you're getting the idea of how it's going to look. Just getting there. Skip the first one. The next two each get one. The next stitch gets two. Here we go again. Luckily, it's the last one for this square. Go in. Two. Three. And then. One. Two. Three. And then. One. Two. Three. More slack. Two more clusters, then hopefully I can get this through. One, two, three. Needs a vi victory shot of something 190 proof. Yeah, I need something. One, two, three. Alrighty, let's see. I'm probably going to mess this one up too. I know if Clay Mika was here, she'd be like, oh, heck no. She she doesn't like puff stitches, regular puff stitches. And this is like a puff stitch on like, it's not even, what, what, what's stronger than steroids? <laughs> this is, this is like nuclear radiation puff stitch. Okay, that one, again, could have been better there. Chain one. Now I'm going to switch to my hook. First one gets two. Yeah, it's on something. The next two each get a double. We're going to skip this 
this next stitch and in the corner we do three doubles chain three and then we're going to slip stitch to our first stitch we're done with that, that puff stitch they could have been a little better I'm not an expert at this now the last round after all that headache the last round you get a rest from this so I'm going to join my new color let me double check something here two three four five six seven alrighty each stitch gets a single until you get to that middle. Each stitch gets a super simple single. When you get to the middle, that middle where the leaf is gets two singles into that space. And then the corners is three singles. Um, three chains, three singles. So the only difference is that middle one where the leaf is gets two singles. Don't even know if I would put all that work for someone I love. <laughs> I mean, I'm here to showcase unique, interesting patterns and motifs. So, so there's three there, chain three, and then three more singles. Wait, that was, was that a single? I mean, I guess you could do two chains if you want to for the corner here, but I'm going to do three. If I can learn how to do a single crochet. <laughs> One, two, three. But I guess it's like with anything, the more practice you do it, the better you get. I mean, first time I crocheted looked like a big old ball of something. Two in there, one and two, and then you just single all the way around. I'm only going to go to part of this side. I don't think we need to finish this entire block with just singles. You kind of get the idea. I'm just going to do a couple more stitches. This sample is going to be frogged anyway. So it wasn't like I was going to save this for anything. But that's kind of what it should look like. Again, your loops with practice should be a little more even consistent. Like this one is probably the best one that I did out of all of these. It should be a little more even. So that is the leaf edge square. It has a cool look, but that row is a pain. Um, I'm gonna take a quick little break, a short, short little break, and then we're gonna, gonna go and, where did I put my sample here? When we come back, we're gonna go. We're gonna go easy. We're gonna make a little leaf. One simple little leaf. Doesn't take that much yarn. So I'll be right back.
Welcome back, everybody. I just had to change some things around. And we're going to go much, much simpler from that to our little simple leaf applique. These are fun. You can make a whole bunch of them and then decorate things with it. You can apply them to blankets, to scarves, to hats, to anything you can think of. And you can make them any colors you want. So since it's almost fall, I'm going to use a yellow. I don't know what tree this would be. I'm not... I, I mean, I know some, some leaf shapes, but I don't know all of them. So I don't know specifically what this would be. But it is part of the, the leaf little collection. We will do the rest of these. If not tonight, then we will do them tomorrow. But our first one is our, I call it the simple leaf. This is a pattern from Happy Berry Crochet on YouTube. If you want the their pattern, well, their um, video, exclamation point simple leaf. And I will pop that up there. That is that. All of the leaves that are pictured here, the appliques plus the acorn are all from that channel, from Happy Berry Crochet. Again, these are not my patterns. So let's start. This is a simple two round project. There's no puff stitches in this. There's no use of a different hook. So I'm going to start with a slip knot on my hook and I'm going to chain 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Alrighty. We're going to work into these chains, but the key is when we work on them, we're going to work back this way, and then we're going to work back around that way. So we're going to go down one side of the chain and then around up the other side. So there's not going to be any flipping. It's going to be rotating. So we're not flipping anything over. We're just going to work down one side on, down the, and then up the other. The easiest way to do this is when you work into the chain, I would recommend working into the one loop instead of two loops. I, you could do the back bumps. I don't know how well that would work. The reason for that is when we work in to just the one loop there, when we come back on the other side, it's going to be a lot easier to work into your chain than if you worked in two. It's going to pull this real tight and try to work into that loop. You're going to have a hard time with it. So we have 10 on the hook, single crochet in the second from the hook. So one, two in the second. And we're only going through one loop of the chain. So single crochet into that, that chain. Into the next chain, we're going to do a half double. And again, I'm only going through the one loop of the chain. So that gets a half double. The next one gets a half double. Again, through one loop of the chain. The next three stitches, the next three chains are each going to get one double. So one, two, and three. Into the next stitch, and the next chain gets a half double. Into the next one gets another half double. And into the very last one, we're going to put in a single. So that is half of round number one. So they kind of grow and then they get back smaller again. In the same chain, you're going to put another single. So in that last chain, which is our very first chain we made, we'll get two singles. And now we're turning our leaf and we're working back up into the chain. So the next chain space that so we worked into this, the next chain space here, we'll get a half double. 
the next one will get a half double. And see here, I'm working over the two strands of the chain. It's a lot easier to work in to do it this way. So that it's so our the next these two chains here each get half double. The next three each get a double. One, there's two, and there's three. The next two each get a half double. So one, and there's the second. And in the last chain, we get a single. The whole time I was also stitching over my tail. That is round number one. So we got this little cigar shape. So round number two, we're going to make, they call it a stalk, it's a stem. This is where, where we're going to make the stem. So I'm going to stitch to this. Okay. So into that same stitch that we worked into, we're going to do a slip stitch. And we're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can make it longer if you want, if you want a longer stem on your leaf. And we're gonna slip stitch into the second chain and also into the remaining chains all the way back down. So in the second one, you're gonna, and you're gonna do it normally, however you normally would work into a chain to do a slip stitch. You don't have to just go through one strand. So you should have six of these. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we made our little stem. And now we're going to slip stitch back into that same stitch that we had our stem coming out of. Our next stitch of this round gets a single crochet. The next one after that gets two half doubles. So one, two. Next one gets one half double. The next stitch gets two doubles. There's one double, two doubles in that same stitch. The next stitch gets one double. Next one gets two doubles, so one and two in the same stitch. Next stitch gets a half double. The next one gets two half doubles, so there's one two half doubles. Our next one gets one single. The one after that gets one single. And let me check my... And now we're going to chain two. This is going to be the little point of our leaf. So we chain two and now we're going to slip stitch back into that single crochet. And that forms a little pico. The next stitch will get two half doubles. One, two, the very next one gets one half double. The next one gets two doubles, so one and two in the same stitch. Next stitch gets one double. The next stitch gets two doubles in the same stitch. Next one gets one half double. 
Next one gets two half doubles in the same stitch. Next stitch gets a single crochet. And now we're going to slip stitch into the very next stitch to join, chain one, cut, pull through, and finish off. And then obviously weave in your ends. That is the simple leaf. A whole lot easier than that. So you can make a bunch of these. I don't really like it in the cotton because you can see all the holes through it. I like it better in the acrylic and with a tighter stitch. Make a bunch of these and you can decorate anything. And they don't have to be fall colors. You can do green. You can do pale green. You can do spring colors. It's a simple little leaf. Alrighty. Now we're going to do another leaf. So the next leaf in our um, thing, let me get the thing real quick. Hold on one second, everyone. Copy this. Um, that in there. Oh, wait a minute. Is the link going to work? Let's see something real quick. Disable that, and we're going to enable this one. We're now going to go and move on to the maple leaf. This one is again also by Happy Berry Crochet on YouTube. That is the um, link for this stitch. And I'm going to do it in orange. I think what we're going to end up doing tonight is we're going to make this and then we're going to call it a night and tomorrow we'll do the oak leaf the acorn and the spiral leaf granny square before we do project linus blankets all right let me see if i can find the pattern for the maple leaf this is a three round um pattern And let me switch over now that we're doing the maple leaf. We're going to make a magic ring. And we're going to put 10 double crochets into the magic ring. There's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten double crochets into the magic ring. I'm going to tighten that up and I will slip stitch into my first stitch to join. I'll tighten it fully later. So that is round one. Round two, we're gonna chain one and we're gonna single crochet into the same stitch. The next stitch we're gonna single and half double. Let me make certain I don't get lost in my pattern. The next one, we're going to do a half double and a double. So we're getting bigger here. The next gets two doubles. One, 
and two. The next one gets a double and a triple crochet. The next stitch gets two triples. There's one. And there's two. Next stitch gets a triple and a double. So there's my triple. There's my double. The next one gets two doubles. One and two. The next one gets a double and a half double. Next stitch gets a half double and a single. And now we are going to slip stitch into our very first stitch to join. So that is round number two. See, it's kind of lopsided. It's not a perfect circle. It's got the circle here, but then the top is taller than the sides and bottom. Round number three. This is where it gets a little more tricky, but it's not too tricky. We're gonna chain three, actually no, we're gonna chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight chains. This is gonna be our stem. We're gonna slip stitch into the second chain from the hook and in all of the remaining chains. Kind of the same way we made the stem for the previous leaf. Again, you can always make your stem longer. If you want a longer leaf, you can make it shorter. Okay, we've done our stem. And now, we're gonna slip stitch into the next stitch. What is, wait, wait. Oh, that was an ad. Okay. Alrighty, so we slip stitch into that stitch, and the very next stitch gets a single and a half double. Double wait, double crochet chain. Wait a minute, how did I do that? Okay. Our next stitch gets a double crochet. Chain three. One, two, three slip stitch into the very first chain we made so the count back and then in that same stitch where that double was coming out of we do is it in the same one let me i always got to double check on my sample Into the same stitch, we're gonna do a double crochet. So in that stitch, we did a double, chain three, slip stitch into the chain, it makes a pico, and then a double crochet into the same stitch that we've been all been working in. Next stitch, let me look at it real quick. The next stitch gets a half double and a single. So that is the one point of our maple leaf. We're gonna have a total of five, but they're all different sizes. These are smaller, these are the middle ones, that's the big one. In the next one, we get a single crochet and a half double. 
gotta make certain I'm in the correct spot. The very next one gets a double, two triples, three chains, and then we're going to slip stitch into our first to make the peak out. Next stitch, I always have to double check. All right, okay. And in the very next stitch, we're going to do two triples. And a double. In the following stitch, a half double and a single. So that's the second of our points. Now we're going to do our tall one. Let me double check this. Next stitch gets a single and a double crochet. Following stitch, what did I do there? A triple, okay. Next stitch gets a triple. And then two double triples. Double triple. There's another double triple. Chain three. Slip stitch into that first chain to form a pico. In the next stitch, we'll get two double triples and a triple. triple. Here's the second double triple and then that's the triple. And then the next stitch we do a double crochet and a single crochet. So that's the third or the tallest of our points of our maple leaf. Next stitch gets a single and a half double. Following stitch gets a double crochet and two triples. One, two, so there's our two triples. Chain three, slip stitch into the first chain you made to form the pico. And in the next stitch, two triples and a double. One, two triples, and then our one double. And in the next stitch gets a half double and a single. So that's our fourth point. And then our last one, it's gonna be like our very first one that we made gets a single, oh, let me go into the stitch, a single and a half double. Into the next stitch gets a double, chain three, slip stitch into the first one to form the pico. And then double crochet into the next stitch and into the very last stitch 
gets a half double and a single. And then we're gonna slip stitch to the base of where the stem is. Chain one, cut, pull through, weave in your ends. And if need, you can block it. But the cotton yarn makes it look weird. I think it looks a lot better in the acrylic. It's just too open and lacy and this is too pointy. But you get the idea of what it should look like. So there's our maple leaf. Uh, to recap, we did, and I'm not going to show the example of that, that I made on stream, but we did our leaf edge square. We did our simple little leaf. Again, I don't know what tree that's from. And then we did our maple leaf. Tomorrow... We will do the oak leaf, my favorite. The acorn, yes, an amigurumi is coming tomorrow. And then also tomorrow, we will be doing the spiral leaf square. So these are, to, are going to um, finish up our leaf motifs for our woodland theme because Sunday, we're gonna get into our critters, our little cute little animals. So I've got them all made, all ready. So that was tonight's stream, and thank you everybody who came in tonight. Let me just move this over here. Thank you everybody who came in tonight. I'm glad to be back, I'm feeling a lot better. My voice sounds hard, hoarse, but that wasn't why I was, I was sick. Like, that's why, that's just started today. So I don't know if it's, it could be change of weather because it is getting cooler, but it's not cool, cool. It's not like it's chillier, but it's cooler than it has been. All righty, let's move this over here. And we are going to go and find somebody to raid. If there's somebody to raid. Um... Oh. I know what we're going to do. I know exactly what we're going to do. Give me... Oh, we're going to pause that um, ad. We don't need to go to ad. Let me double check something. Wait, who's that? Okay. Let's do this. We, again, I will be on tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Eastern Time for our um, oak leaf, our acorn, and our spiral leaf granny. Remember, I have a Discord. Follow the Discord. Jo join the Discord. I have a YouTube. All of my videos are uploaded um, to the YouTube as soon as I'm done streaming. Uh, I have a merch store. I didn't mention that earlier. I have a merch store. I did add two things to the merch store. They are the same design as the t-shirts, but they are now on stainless steel 32-ounce water bottles. I've got a couple other ideas that I've just thought of before I streamed that I might put on the merch store. Um... What else? Just again, tune in tomorrow. After we do the, the fall leaves, we're going to do the blanket for Project Linus. I am planning on going to a Project Linus meeting tomorrow. They meet, my chapter meets however, however times, a couple times a month. Um, they're having a meeting tomorrow. And uh, it'll be cool to sit in and help out whatever needs to be helped um, done there. I will report back tomorrow evening how the uh, meeting went. It's perfect timing. I'm going to be wearing my Project Linus shirt when I go tomorrow. 
So we're going to go raid. We're going to go raid somebody who's normally on during the week in the mornings. I see that she is on now. She was actually in my stream a little while ago. We're going to go and raid Upcycly. So everybody, go follow her. She does a lot of recycling, upcycling, ch taking trash, turning it into treasures. Um, I think she is currently working on this project she's going to be making for a gift. It's 63, I think, different types of squares. And each square is going to be different. It's crocheted. And it's from a, a pattern, but each square is different. So it's kind of like a sampler patchwork. And the yarn she's using is from a person who is special to the recipient of the gift. So, really good stream over there. Really go over and support her. And most, I don't know, most of my viewers here might know of her because she's been in my stream. She's a follower of mine from early, early on. So definitely go check her out. Show her some love. And I will talk to you again tomorrow evening.